Yeah, we're out here at beautiful Calcasieu Point Marina right off the, uh, the shorelines of Big Lake, about to build phase two of the Finfish Reef. Uh, we'll be out there today dropping a couple thousand tons of recycled concrete uh, that'll become great fish habitat for years to come. It's at a location in the middle of Lake Calcasieu that we call the Finfish Reef. This is actually an enhancement of the existing reef where we're adding more crushed concrete material to create that hard bottom habitat that starts our marine ecosystems. So we're going to go out on the water today and actually see the construction. See the barges out there with the concrete unloading, placing them on the bottom. It's, it's in a precise area that's been surveyed out and it's all permitted and, and ready to go. So we're excited to be here for our newest habitat project for CCA Louisiana. Most of the water bottoms in Louisiana are soft, either sandy or muddy, and, and it just does not lend towards attachment of marine organisms. So we create these artificial reefs by putting out hard materials, limestone, recycled crushed concrete, other, other structures that, that are suitable and approved to create that marine food chain, that hard surface for these organisms to attach to. And that's what we're doing today. We've got this recycled concrete that came off of road projects. It's been cleaned and crushed and it's made ready to use. And we have it out there on barges and we're going to be placing it on the bottom of Calcasieu Lake to create this new habitat. Yeah, really we're going on about 20 years of building reefs at CCA Louisiana. This is our 41st individual reef we're building here today and it's due to the uh, generosity of great partners like the ones we have here today, Philip 66, uh, and many others who have helped us through the years. Uh, we have built reefs in very shallow water, we've built reefs in much deeper water, uh, creating a plethora of different habitats for fish that uh, in a time, frankly, when we lose habitat at an alarming rate here in Louisiana. So uh, we're really proud of our reef program and looking forward to another great project today. So we lose habitat in Louisiana in a lot of ways. We lose it through the normal means like erosion and uh, coastal subsidence, but we also lose it through the loss of, uh, of reef habitat, oyster reefs and others. We lose it through the removal of oil and gas platforms. Today we are out replacing oyster reefs that have been damaged and lost in Big Lake, uh, which is really, really important. Most of us as fishermen grow up fishing around oyster reefs. And when those reefs are gone, it is detrimental to our fish, uh, our fish species. So today we're going to go build a new one uh, and help, uh, hopefully help those fish out. The fish love it. They show up almost immediately because of changes in the bottom contours and, and you know, just the way the tide goes over it. And, and it, it's, it's a harborage for bait fish and for other species. And it's a destination for our anglers to go because it's mapped. We have it on our website, ccalouisiana.com, so please visit and you can see about our other reef projects and our locations and, and more information. I'm an avid fisherman and an outdoor reporter on the local NBC affiliate and also the mayor of Westlake where Phillips 66 is located right next to our community. Anytime we could do something that's going to improve the habitat for the fish, and it's going to really make things better for all of us in southwest Louisiana. And when Phillips steps up to the table like this to bring the money in so we can make these reefs and the fish can be there and we can go out and catch our speckled trout, redfish and flounder, what a good day, what a good day it is. Well, look, I've lived here all my life and I love southwest Louisiana and this is one of the best places in the world to live. It is sportsman's paradise, uh, hunting, fishing, hiking, biking, camping. The hurricanes hit us hard. But this is a resilient community with great people. And we want to invite the people to come back to Southwest Louisiana and see the type of things we have here, whether you're out saltwater fishing or in the community in general. We got a lot of things, a lot of fun. Every weekend there's a festival in Southwest Louisiana. We got gaming, we've got all kind of restaurants that are nice, we have small businesses. But to have the CCA in conjunction with Phillips 66 to come in and build a reef that will improve our fishing, that's just another a layer of goodness on a really good part of the world. For myself and for the employees at Phillips 66 Refinery here in uh, Westlake, we're excited to participate. We're all members of the community and anytime we have the opportunity to invest in our community in a real way, or, and you know our employees like being on the water and like fishing so this is a, just a, an enjoyable and, and exciting uh, a thing for us to get engaged with. We believe in a sustainable future and, and so this is like makes top of the mark, top of the list for us to get involved and engage with this activity. Oh, I, I'm thrilled. I think uh, CCA and all of the, that they do 
uh, to preserve the habitat in our community and, and uh, their leadership is just a wonderful thing. I think this is going to be something that's great for us today and into the future. Phillips 66 is an energy company and here in southwest Louisiana we have a refinery. Uh, we have over 750 employees that live here and work here. So we're involved in this project because of our love for conservation and I love um, our way of life here in southwest Louisiana. You know, Phillips 66 has had a long time relationship with the Coastal Conservation Association. So any project that they ask us about, we always look into it because we know that they know what good conservation is. And so that's important to us. And so we know that this is making a difference in Southwest Louisiana. Plus, you know, our employees love to fish too. So this is gonna create better fish habitat. So we're all about that. We appreciate Phillips 66 being the main sponsor here today and they have sponsored this reef and this is not the first one that they've helped us with over the years and also we appreciate uh, uh, the Calcasieu Parish Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Mancuso and them have donated their boats to help bring us out there uh, to uh, go out to the barges and watch the ribbon cutting out there. This lake, Calcasieu Lake, is one of the most popular lakes on the Gulf Coast for speckled trout, flounder and redfish and fishing has been really good here over the years and that's why we're continuing to try to put more artificial reefs out there to enhance the habitat so we can uh, be able to take more fish and more fishermen here. I uh, have fished all my life because I have a camp out at Moss Lake just not far from here but I got involved with CCA when it first started many years ago and uh, I've been involved with CCA over the years uh, trying to protect fish and get this more habitat uh, restoration being done all along our Gulf Coast here in Louisiana. We'd like for young people to get in fishing and also get more involved with uh, nonprofit people like CCA to where they can learn that we have to make sure that we're protecting all the resources, not just protecting fish, but the habitat that they live in. Make sure that we're protecting marshes and all the estuary environment here that helps the fishing. We are the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana. We're a nonprofit organization, been around in Louisiana for 40 years, uh, and our intention is to preserve and protect Louisiana's coastal marine resources. We advocate for better fisheries management. We uh, provide outreach and education to the public. Uh, we bring fishing to those who might not otherwise have access to it. Of course, we're out here build, building habitat on a day like today. So our, our reach is wide. Our goal is focused on the conservation of our, of our coastal habitats and fisheries. Anybody can become a member of CCA. It's, uh, it's very affordable to be a member. It's only $40 to be a member of CCA for a year. Kids become members for no charge at all. Uh, and We're extending the uh, Finfish Reef. Uh, <clears throat> we're putting about 2,000 tons of uh, recycled concrete and the water depth of eight foot. And we should be wrapping up tomorrow afternoon. Uh, How long does it take you to do a project like three this? Day, three days, you know, from start to stop. Uh, depending on uh, your tides and, and, and your weather and everything else, you know. How's it gone so far? Everything's going good. Everything's going good. The weather's hold up, holding up and uh, we're putting the, putting the materials down. I'm looking around, I'm seeing a lot of great fishing spots and this is just going to enhance the fishing right here in southwest Louisiana. Uh, we're, we're not far from A Bears, just right across there. Uh, it's, a, it's a great part of the lake to have a, have a reef in to enhance our fishing. So I see, I get, I get excited about it because I know what it's gonna do for our fishing right here on Big Lake. We got great fishing, one of the great spots to fish in all America right here. And uh, having these reefs built by local companies like Phillips 66 and all the guys coming in with correct collaboration of building these reefs, it really makes a, a, a really good opportunity for us to even have better fishing. It's important because we need everyone to speak up for our coast. Our fish don't have a voice, and so CCA becomes the voice of those fish who, uh, you know, who need to be spoken for when the time comes. Our policymakers and our decision makers in the state of Louisiana 
uh, need to be educated about why our fishing industry, why our fisheries resources are so important, and CCA and our members provide that. Able to be able to buy quarter half seventy five one two quarter half three. We'll take all your money right here. Come on down. Well, I, I'm going to tell you one thing I am going to do, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to be here, to make sure I pin drop this reef on my phone because I'll be fishing over that reef someday. I really appreciate what Phillips 66 and CCA is doing in southwest Louisiana. Please visit our website at ccalouisiana.com.